Now, can I say this? I, I'm, I, I'm going to say some things tonight, and I, I told the Lord, I'll, I'll do it, Lord. I don't want to. I don't want to become your enemy because I tell you the truth. I like to be liked. I'm a nice poison. <laughs> but I, I got to ask the question, what kind of loyalty is this? What kind of loyalty is this? I want you to think about that word loyalty because I made a special, a special effort today. Look all through the Bible. And you know, I could not find one mention of the word loyalty. Now, loyalty is an important thing, but is it a biblical virtue? Is, is it a spiritual gift? Is it a godly command? The Lord sent Nathan to confront the king. To wag his finger in his face. Sometimes I wonder, where were the wagging fingers? Can I make a confession? When I came here over a year ago, when I moved here over a year ago, I immediately knew in my spirit that something was wrong. But I made a covenant with the Lord and myself. I mean, I, 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 I remember one time I corrected Pastor Scott on, on a sermon. Uh, it was uh, a quiet reception, not unkind. But I, I, I began to think, you know, I'm the new kid on the block. I, I don't have any right to, to go to Pastor Scott. If I, if I hear something that I think is a little off base biblically, if I, if I sense something that's wrong, I am going to earn the right, I said to myself, uh, by waiting one year before I say anything. You know, that year was just up. And I have to wonder if I'd been a Nathan. And I have to wonder, why didn't I say anything? Why didn't you? Why didn't the staff? And, and, and I'm not saying they didn't say anything. But, but th did any of us know to do good and not do it? Did, did, or, or were we afraid of the king? Were we afraid of what he would say or how he would respond? Were we afraid of losing our job and our salary? Did we fail to speak up because my friend, faithful are the wounds of a friend. And sometimes we need to be wounded. Now, I believe you ought to esteem and you ought to submit to those in, in, in rulership over you. But Eddie will tell you, Pastor Eddie will tell you, we've already disagreed two or three times. He was wrong every time and he doesn't get it. <laughs> but you know what? I, I esteem this man. Uh, he is, and can I say, that, pray for him. I'm going to tell him what I told you, Eddie, uh, Pastor Eddie. I said, you know what? We just took Pastor Scop out of a high-pressure job. He was the pastor of the church. And we put you in his chair. The difference between you and Pastor Scop is that Pastor Scop had you to lean on. You were the administrative pastor. He was a spiritual pastor, and you basically was, were his right arm. Now, you are the spiritual pastor. You are the administrative pastor. And then to add to that, he is guiding the church through legal discussions to be sure the church is protected legally. You need to pray for him. And you need to pray for him every day as our pastor. That God would give him wisdom and God would give him strength. But I don't believe in blind loyalty. I believe we should be loyal to principles and not people, to precepts and not personalities. We need to be loyal to the Word of God. And my friend, if any leader ever does anything that is unbiblical, we need to have the courage of our convictions to look him in the face and say, you're wrong. 